guys, welcome back to Lexi Hair's channel. Today is a very exciting tutorial for you guys because it's that time of year. The highly anticipated Victoria's Secret show is just around the corner and I don't know about you but I always love to see the model's hair and makeup and just how amazing it looks so I recreated this hairstyle for you guys. It's super sexy, voluminous, it's extremely easy to recreate and it's perfect for the upcoming holidays if you want to add a little bit of glamour to your look. So if you guys want to see how I did this Victoria's Secret inspired hair then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have started off with freshly blow dried hair. My little tip to achieve a little bit more volume is to blow dry your hair upside down just so that the hair follicle is now pushed up a little bit and you have some more volume to work with. So for this look, I am using my Seamless Collection extensions from Luxe Hair in the shade Blonde Balayage. Now I have toned them with my purple shampoo, so just keep that in mind just to match my natural hair color a little bit better. Okay, so putting in our extensions, you guys know that I love to double up on my wefts, so at the very bottom of our head, we're gonna double up our three clip wefts, so I put them right on top of each other, and then the midsection of our head, I'm gonna double up on my four clip wefts, and then I like to individually place my two clip wefts at either side of my head, right around where the temple is. I like to add my Lexi hair extensions just so I have more length and volume to work with and I think the Victoria's Secret models all have extensions in their hair just to create that really flowy, goddess looking hair. So I'm going to section off half of my hair away from my face so that we're working with the bottom half first. So I'm just going to take an elastic and from my eyes up, I'm just going to section away. Okay, the curling iron I'm going to use today is this one from T3. It's a little bit larger because I always find that the Victoria's Secret models never tend to have like a full on like spiral curl. It's more of a wave curl, so it's definitely a little bit bigger. But keep in mind at the end of this, we're going to style our hair and really run our fingers through it and brush it. And it's really going to soften up the curl. So starting with this side, I'm going to take an inch thick piece of hair and then I'm going to wrap my hair away from my face going all the way down, spiraling. I'm gonna keep the hair quite close together on the barrel and then take it off, hold it in my hand a little bit just so that it has that added bounce and drop it. So as you can see, it definitely looks like a full on curl, but we wanna keep it like this for now so the heat can hold it. But then at the end, we're definitely gonna play around with how it's styled. So taking another piece of hair, this one's a little bit thicker. You can kind of alternate between thicker and thinner pieces just so that they don't look all uniform. All the way down. I'm going to have to hold this one on a little bit longer just because there's more hair on it. Release, and then just hold it in my hand for a little bit. So as you can tell, this is such an easy way of curling your hair. I'm just making sure all of the curls are going away from my face. And then I'm holding the curl in my hand just so that the heat stays in the curl a little bit longer so we don't lose our bounce. And then at the end, we're going to really have fun styling it and making it more Victoria's Secret-esque. Now that this side is all done and curled, we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. So again, taking an inch thick piece of hair and making sure it's going away from our face. So you're gonna have to hold the curling iron a little bit differently, making sure it's still going down straight. Okay, we are done with this section. We're just gonna put it behind our shoulders and leave it out of the way. We're gonna style it at the end. We are gonna now move on to this top section. And we're really gonna do pretty much the same technique, making sure all of the curls are away from our face. We just wanna take smaller sections of hair. So we don't want them to be as full and thick. We want them to have a little bit more of a wave rather than a big luscious curl. So this is just gonna kinda of change up the whole style of the hair because if we did the same kind of style of curl on the bottom as the top, then it would look a little bit bigger and more pageant-like. So we wanna smooth out the top part and make it more of a wave curl. So taking a smaller piece of hair, I'm gonna start in the back here. Gonna wrap it around. Not going to keep it on as long either, and I'm also not going to hold the curl at the end. I'm going to kind of pull it straight, so once it's heated, you can see it's more of a wave. I'm just going to pull it so it lays a little bit flatter. So I'll show again, taking a smaller piece of hair, wrapping it flat around the curling wand. Once I feel like it's enough heat, taking it off and then lightly pulling it straight. So I'm just going to keep doing that all the way to my bangs.
Now when it comes to my bangs, my hair in the front isn't the same length as my hair in the back, so it is a little bit shorter. So I'm going to show you how I curl them just so that it blends in with the rest of my hair. So taking the shorter piece of hair, it wouldn't fully wrap around the curling wand, so that's why I can't just wrap it. So I have to use the tong, so I'm going to start at the bottom here and flip it away from my face, but the tong is smoothing the curl and the shorter pieces of hair all into one. And then I'm just gonna pull it straight and it should just blend in with the rest of my hair. So again, I'm just gonna put that behind my shoulders and move on to this section. So again, taking a smaller section of hair, wrapping it around, but making sure it's a little bit straighter, not as close together. Once it's all heated up, instead of holding it up, I'm going to just pull it down and straight. So it's more of a wave. What's great about this hairstyle is that you don't have to do it just to recreate a Victoria's Secret angel. It'd be great for a party or going out to an event or literally just for everyday use like myself. I tend to always curl my hair like this just because I find that it lasts really long. So I do this once and then this is my hair for the next couple of days and it just creates a nice um, style of hair to create different styles of hair if that makes sense. So it just gives a really nice wave and lots of body to your hair. So just keep that in mind. This is just a great hairstyle to rock honestly anywhere. Now we're at the front section, so I'm gonna show you how I styled my bangs again, just because it's not gonna wrap around the whole barrel. Grabbing the tongue open, my hair in between, and smoothing it all the way down into the curl. But remember to pull it straight after, or else it will look very fair faucet. It should just flow into the other ones. Okay, now that all of our hair is curled, I love how my extensions just make my hair look so thick and long and voluminous. So now we're gonna style it because they definitely don't have it this curly and perfected. So we're gonna take our fingers and just run them through the bottom section of our hair just to piece it up a little bit just so that they don't all um, kind of fall into each other. You don't want them to be one big curl. You want them to be a little bit more PC. Next, I'm gonna take my hairbrush and just smooth out the top into the rest of the hair so that it all blends really nicely. Again, going through with my fingers and making sure it's PC. Okay, so this hairstyle definitely needs some styling products, so I'm gonna take this wave spray and just butterfly my hair, which means taking it from like the midsection and then lifting it up and letting it drop while I spray the spray into my hair. And you can just see it creates a lot more um, of a beachy effect rather than a smooth, like, calm effect. <laughs> I don't know if calm is the right word to describe a hairstyle, but you can see the difference just looking at my hair. It just looks a lot more beachy and it has a lot more volume to it. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. So picking it up in the midsection and dropping it as we spray into it. Now, what I've learned is don't do that with the very front section of your hair or else it starts to kind of look like a lion's mane. So you want to keep this section a little bit closer to your face and smoother and have the rest of your hair look really big and sexy, but keep this part a little bit more sleek and face framing. Lastly, I'm going to take some of this styling cream, only a really small amount, and I'm going to really rub it in between my hands and just tossle it through the ends of my hair. This smells amazing, but it's just going to kind of perfect the look and take care of any flyaways that you might have. And it just really finishes off the look. So this is the final result. Definitely one of my go-to hairstyles. I love it. Don't forget that this is just a great base to create other hairstyles with. You can add accessories to it. It is such a versatile hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, don't forget to hashtag Lexi Hair if you recreate this because we'd love to see your pictures. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.